Okay, these are my thoughts with regards to Paul Smith and Arthur Abrams' fight last night. Um, before we go into the um, scoring system, I want to start by saying that I felt that Paul Smith had a great chance of winning the world title for a number of reasons. I said that Arthur Abraham was a small super middleweight. I felt that his punch didn't really carry up to super middleweight. And I felt that with the experience that Smith had, um, people said, oh, Smith has never fought anywhere near this level beforehand. But he fought James DeGale and he fought George Groves, both guys who people think that are in the world top 10. Um, and both guys that a lot of people think could actually beat Arthur Abraham. Now, I just felt Abraham could be outboxed. He has been outboxed. He's slow on his feet. He's got a very basic style. Um, that's how I see Arthur Abraham. Um, but his style is very effective when he puts his gloves up and comes towards you, closes you down, and lands his big power shots. Um, I don't think Abraham is effective off the back foot. And when he's back to the ropes, he's, he's very ineffective as a fighter, like most fighters are. But he, in particular, is very ineffective. So coming to this fight with Paul Smith, I believed Smith would win the fight because, um, like I said, age, wear and tear with Abraham, being a small middleweight, super middleweight. And I said if the fight was at middleweight now, I would have tipped Arthur Abraham to win the fight by KO because... There were times he clipped Smith at super middleweight, and I think at middleweight he would have had more power. Okay, so we get into the fight now, and I felt that Abraham as well would have taken Smith lightly, and I'm sure he can say he didn't, but I think he did. Um, and let's get something straight here. Smith put on a great performance, great boxing performance. He shocked a lot of people. Didn't shock me because I actually thought Smith was good enough to win the title, and um, his experiences in America and the fact he'd been knocked out. People say, oh, he got knocked out by George Groves. He got chinned by Groves. He got chinned by DeGale. But I look at it and say, well, he got knocked out by two guys. Surely, now you're fighting for a world title, you know, don't stick your chin in the air, you know, and when to pick your shots. Um, when you're unbeaten and you've never been dropped or hurt, you know, you feel you can, you, you can get away with a lot of stuff and sometimes you don't pay attention to defense. Smith realised that going to fight against Arthur Abraham, hey, you know, if I leave my chin out there, it will get taken off of me. And Arthur Abraham has showed that. So going into the fight, um, I felt I felt Smith's experience at world level, level let him down. Uh, he boxed well. Um, I had Smith winning the fight, but by one or two rounds now. As well as Smith boxed well, I felt that um, there was a lot of missing with the right hand. Had I been in the corner, or if I was advising uh, Paul Smith, I would have said, look, stop throwing that right hand. You're clearly missing with it. Work the body more. When I was also surprised, having watched Arthur Abraham box so many times, that when you put Abraham on the back foot, on the ropes, he just puts his guard up like this and leaves areas here for his body. And you could clearly see that when Smith was landing the body shots, he was very effective with his body shots. Very, very effective. Very effective indeed. And so I was thinking to myself, well, if that's the case, and he's hurting him to the body, why is he not going in more? But then you don't know. I don't know. When Smith's in the ring, he probably feels Arthur Abraham's strength and thinks, you know what? Let me not take any chances. But I felt that his best work was when he threw shots to the body. He did miss with the right hand a lot. Um, Abraham did fight like a pro, like a real experienced vet, trying to nick points and steal rounds, so the last 30 seconds he throw a flurry, and as the Americans say, it's the last 30 seconds that every judge remembers. You may have been doing well for the first two and a half minutes of a fight, but then the last 30 seconds the champ goes along and throws a flurry, and ultimately he wins the round. Unless you've scored, scored a knockdown that round, and he's in and Arthur Abraham's in Germany as well, so there was no way that I felt Smith was going to win that fight. He did enough to win. Okay, if that fight was in the UK, he'd won the fight. But in Germany, you knew in Germany that Smith would have had to knock uh, Abraham out. And yes, he fought well, and yes, he boxed well. Um, but 
did he really dominate? Did he really dominate Arthur Abraham? Did he beat him from pillar to post? No, he didn't. Did he really go to Germany and snatch the title from the champion? No, he didn't. Did he box well? Yes. Did he beat Abraham? I would say he did. But the scorecard? No. That's just not. And, and, and it's stuff like that that not only gives Germany and boxing Europe a bad name, but it turns people off. The guy's had his first world title shot, and this is what happens. So it's a disgusting result. If Abraham won the fight by a round or two, okay. If the fight had gone to a draw, okay. But I believe, for my philosophy of boxing, if you're going to go abroad, you have to literally wrench the title off of the champion's hand. You really got to beat him from pillar to post. Really beat him from round one to round twelve. Beat him, beat him, send him back, back him up, beat him up, send him back to his corner every round. Beat him up. And at the end of every round, you have to be the one landing the final punches. And at times, I felt Abraham smart being a world champion and having so many defences and knowing how to nick rounds. I felt there something that maybe Joe Gallagher could have said, look, at the end of these rounds, he's trying to sneak it here. You need to, you need to finish first. You need, to, you need to make sure that you're the one who finishes first or, or finishes last. Make sure the last 30 seconds... I can't shoot punches from you. So in training camp, that had been something I'd been working on. Also, why was Smith trying to box him for the mid centre of the ring? Clearly, Abraham is not a good fighter when his back's against the ropes. And it was shown round after round after round. As soon as Smith had Abraham back against the ropes, his hands were tucked up, his arms were tucked up, and he was hitting body shots. And to me, I would have said, hey, listen, back, double the jab, get his guy to the back, of, get his back to the ropes, right, where he can't generate as much power as he would from long range and start flurrying to the body. Um, Abraham had problems making weight, so that would be an area I would have implored uh, Smith to go. Another thing, Smith, um, again, at world level, punches you're throwing at domestic level, possibly European level, you can throw two, three punches and, 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 and win a fight. Smith needs to be throwing four and five punch combinations. He needs to, when he's at the body, rat tat 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 to the body and out. You know, one, two, three, four, out. Do you know what I mean? And constantly keeping Abraham on his back foot all the time on the ropes. When Abraham's got his hands up like this, he can't throw punches back. For him to take punches back, he's got to bring his hands down and then throw punches. He's got to do that. Okay? So when he's like this, he is not dangerous. Right? And when he's back against the ropes, tucking up, that's why he gets into a shell, throw the body shots. And if you look at how Frotch fought Abraham, when he had Abraham against ropes, Abraham had his hands like this, whacking the body, mashing up the ribs. That is how you have to fit a, a box off Abraham. So I felt taking the centre ring was the wrong tactics for Smith. You know, I felt it was personal. I felt it was wrong. I would like to see Smith, like I said, take the attack, back Abraham up and work the body. Uh, should there be a rematch? Yes, yeah, of course there should be a rematch. But will the rematch happen? Has Eddie Hearn got that sort of power to make that happen? Logic and play, but um, second time round, um, I think it would be a different fight um, because I think Abraham will not underestimate um, Paul Smith because I don't think that Abraham gave Smith the respect that he deserved and I think it would be a different fight. Smith, on the other hand, will now know, well, look, I beat this guy. I can beat this guy. So, you know, Smith will make, make it a better fight. So, you know, I don't think Arthur Abraham's style can change that much. Um, and... Would you say now that Smith is a world-class fighter? Would you say that Abraham is now on the wane as a fighter? Where would you put Paul Smith? Is he European level? Is he world level? You know, he's fought De Gale and he's fought um, George Groves, who are two guys that are in the top ten looking for world title shots. So, yes, I'd like to see the rematch. Can Smith win a rematch? I don't know. If it's in Germany... I'm not so sure. I'd like to see the fight. If it's not in England and it's not Germany, maybe a neutral place. I don't know. Um, but other than that, yeah, I'm happy for Paul Smith. Um, and he really should have won the fight. Um, and I'm gutted. But there you go. Those are my thoughts. Um, 
I guess that's it. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm out.